Hello everyone. This video about modeling or simulation lithium accumulator in LTSPICE software. So you can see the model of lithium accumulator on the screen. This is the right side of the screen. This is internal socket of the lithium accumulator model. And left side of the screen is a test setup. This is a test equipment which we are going to use for this model to understand how it works. So the first te test is uh, very simple and quite obvious. The first step, uh, test is uh, uh, discharging, discharging with different country, uh, currents uh, to get family of discharge curves. And as soon as we get those curves, we can compare them with original ones. Uh, this picture is uh, original curves obtained from internet. So you can see two lines are missing in our models. Those two lines are corresponding very high discharge current and you can see this is quite specific form. There is a, a thermal effect for this uh, curves. Uh, Accumulator is getting hotter during discharging for with, with such a high current and our model can cover only general currents without accumulator heating. So our curves corresponding five first lines. And you can see they are relatively uh, similar to original ones. So next test. Uh, in next test we get discharge curves again plus uh, we variate internal serial resistor. Um, just to see how internal serial resistor or resistance uh, influence discharge curves. So this is only three curves. We have reduced the number of them. And you can see each curve has a two different options, a lower resistor, higher resistor. And uh, low current uh, curve has limited influence of internal serial resistor, uh, while the high dis current discharge curve has much more significant impact of uh, internal serial resistor. And for sure, high resistor, uh, lower voltage, because this is internal resistance. So next test. In next test, test we are changing a special dynamical parameter, which is responsible for uh, dynamical uh, characteristic of our model. Let's look how the what the result is. Again, we have reduced the number of curves to free discharge curves, and you can see only high current curves really impact with uh, this parameter, dynamical parameter. Let's compare it with original lines. This is particular, this part of lines. And uh, you can see that changing uh, this uh, dynamical parameter to see we can uh, adjust our model uh, according original lines or very close to original lines. So next test is a kind of um, using of our uh, model. So now our model is now inside of these cells, one cell, two and second cell. And um, what we do here, we just charge with constant current, then we discharge with constant current and uh, see what the result is going to be. So, firstly, uh, we apply to our two, you remember this is two cells, actually this is kind of battery of two cells. By the way, two cells with different, slightly different capacitance. So we apply constant charge current and for sure both of them is charging they are charging from the very zero this is how to say this is not allowed for the real physical accumulate but model can charge from, from very zero volts so this is a voltage of one cell and higher voltage is a voltage for two cells or for battery 
uh, on the low side curve we can see a uh, kind of state of charge state of charge is a specific parameter this is a pin number three state of charge for sure uh, physical physical cell physical accumulator has only two pins positive and negative nothing more but this is our virtual accumulator it, it has a third pin which is state of charge and from this pin we can get direct information direct voltage which respond the level of charge of our cell it changing from zero to one zero means zero percent one means hundred percent and we can see that two different uh, cells has a slightly different capacitance and the speed of charge is slightly different as well and both of them is uh, reaching a kind of saturation level which is 100% or 1 volts they cannot go above 100% so this is a kind of saturation and then we apply discharge current again this is a constant discharge current and we can see discharging process again a smaller cell losing energy slightly faster uh, we can see discharge curves voltage curves uh, this is one cell discharge curves and uh, two cells discharge curves has a combination of uh, two different cells and then we would like to apply our step current yeah, step current to our accumulator to see the voltage response response of our accumulator for the step current but firstly we need uh, to put the particular charge particular char uh, yeah particular charge into, into our accumulator and um, it could be 50 percent so we want to push 50 percent uh, state of charge in, inside our cell how we do it we use our third pin it's connected to control uh, control switcher this switch is controlled by time so on particular moment of time this switcher connect a uh, half volts power source or half volts voltage source to our state of charge pin and accumulate immediately jump from any level in our, in our case from zero level to 50% so as soon as 50 it is 50 percent by the way both cells doesn't matter they have uh, they have different capacitance both of them are on on 50 percent charge we can apply um we can apply this uh current step here is the current step it's quite significant it's 10 amperes something like a 5c discharge current 5c and we can see our voltage response for sure this is the firstly fast step voltage then slow voltage change and again fast step and then slow voltage change this is quite typical behavior of a real accumulator so let me go back to, our, uh, to the model so you can see the model on the screen uh, you can use it you can copy it from the screen if you need a text file or library file please find the way to contact me in comments in private message or with this contact information you can see on the screen thank you very much uh, for your attention